on the page and today I'm going to be doing the art of the book tag. So the art of the book tag was created by Megan and Alessandra over at Brushing Bookends. If you haven't checked out their original video or their channel, I highly recommend it. They're doing a lot of really interesting things. They like to mesh art and booktube, which is how this tag came to be, and they're just awesome. Number one is colored pencil slash layering. What book or series had a complex plot to it? I chose the Wheel of Time series. I haven't actually finished the series and I have no intention of finishing it, but it, ha it had very like multitudes, it had a lot of different plots running together. So it had like the main, main character and then it had like sub main characters, like three or four. Then it had side characters and we would follow the main character's storyline as well as the sub main character storylines and so it was just very much they were weaving in and out of each other they were the actions that happened for one would kind of you'd see the consequences for the other so that one is what i chose for a complex plot number two is charcoal slash blending what is a book where the dark and light kind of blend towards each other I had a really hard time with this because I don't often read like morally gray books or characters um, but I did decide to go with Never Let Me Go and I forgot the author completely forgot the author the picture will be like up here somewhere um, it's kind of touches on this very controversial subject and it's done in like a first person so it's the main character is kind of talking about it without ever actually mentioning what's going on so it's not till the very end that you're really really made aware like you can guess and make assumptions but you're never it's never actually confirmed until the very end and so that's kind of I guess why I chose this because you're kind of kept in the dark while given little pieces of the information the whole time number three is pen and ink slash cross hatching what is your favorite book series with the most volumes? I decided to go with the Night Runner series. Um, there are seven in total for the Night Runner series, um, and it's just one of my favorite series. I kind of I like to break them up. So like the first three are kind of its own arc. Four, five, and six are its kind of another arc, and then like seven is kind of could be a standalone. Um, but I've reread them multiple times. I recommend them to many of my friends, and so I am gonna go with that. Number four is Permanent Marker. What is a book that is permanently drawn in your mind? And I went with the Mouse graphic novels. I don't know that, I don't really talk about graphic novels or manga, but I am actually really big fans of them. I agree with Megan over at Brushing Bookends that I really like non-fiction graphic novels instead of just reading about it it makes it one more accessible but also two it makes it more real because you are confronted with the realities of what they're talking about instead of just like numbers on a page you're actually shown what is happening and it's told from an act like a character that you can actually get to know perspective so these ones are awesome they're really what's the word I'm looking for somber because um, they do talk about the Holocaust and um, it Art Spiegelman the writer and artist for the series or for the duology I don't know I don't know what to call them when they're graphic novels um, it's kind of about his dad's journey through Nazi Germany and so it is very harrowing so do be warned but it is they're so good they're so good number five is acrylic paint for vibrancy what is a book with a vibrant cover or character i went with toby from openly straight and honestly ben he is very much his own character he is, never lets the fact that he lives at an all boys boarding school deter him from being who he is which is just a very unique interesting human being and he in himself is just very colorful Number six is watercolor for wash. What book had a transparent plot? Now, unfortunately, 
I'm going to go ahead and say Tempests and Slaughter by Tamora Pierce. I really did enjoy it, but it was fairly obvious kind of where it was going. Also because one of the main characters we meet later on, once they've grown up, we can you can kind of connect the pieces. So. Number seven is Oil Paint for Texture. Name a character or creature you remember vividly because of how they were described. I'm going to have to go with... The Hawk Brothers from the last Her Herald Mage series by Tamora Pierce. They have like all white flowing hair. They have bird companions. I'm really hoping she does a series on them because it's, they sound awesome. But Last Herald Mage is probably one of my favorite series as well. And it is also LGBTQ fantasy. So I would highly recommend it if you haven't read it. I know she has some other ones that I think fall on the LGBTQIA spectrum. I haven't read them yet. I've read some of her other books that haven't, but she has quite a few. So I, I'm just kind of working my way through them. But yeah, the Hawk Brothers. Digital paintings for New Age Media. What is your favorite new release? Running with Lions by Julian Winters. I absolutely love this book. I read it in like a day or two. It's so awesome. It touches on some pretty um, interesting topics because like one of the characters in here has body issues so it kind of talks about that and it's just so well done. Amir and Sebastian are so cute and if you like sports animes but you always ship the guy characters, this is, this is definitely one to read. Blank Canvas. What book had the best new ideas? So I would have to say, I don't know the series, um, but the first one is uh, The Grim Legacy, and the second one is The Wells Request, and the third one is like, um, I think it's Lovecraft Collection, maybe? I don't know, but it's based around this library based around this library that is unusual from other libraries, it instead of loaning out books, it loans out items. So they have items from like centuries past, like you can borrow all the stethoscopes, like if you're doing a paper on how they've modernized the stethoscope or whatever, you can rent all of them and see the differences in the technology. Um, but they also have items from famous book series so like one of them is the grim like fairy tale series and in the first book what's happening is people are someone is borrowing these items these magical items and then when they return them three weeks later once someone else borrows them or three days i forget it's three something um they no longer work and so like the main character with a couple other people who work it's a young adult book so the main character is like a teenager middle grader um middle schooler um but her and the friend she's made there have to kind of figure out what's happening and i just it was a really cool idea and the last one is scrap paper what book it should have been scrapped and rewritten and i'm gonna go with one that i recently dnf'd that is The Bones of Others. I don't remember the author. Um, it was, I could definitely try it was trying to be like this empower women positive book, but it just failed so much. It failed so much and that just needs to go back to the drawing board for. Yep. Well, that was the art of the book tag. Once again, if you haven't checked out Brushing Book Ends channel, definitely do so. And go ahead, feel free to leave some comments about what your answers to the questions are, or do this yourself. I'm, but until the next video, ta-ta for now.